welcome to my holiday decor haul from Target. I am so excited to share with you the festive decor I recently got and all of it is from Target. So I'll just be going through the different items and some items are little ornamental sort of objects and then we also have some garland and some clothing items and all that good stuff so speaking of which the Christmas vest I'm wearing is from I'll see if I can link the design below, but I am really into Christmas vests, sweater vests. This is like a knit crochet almost. And it's got very it's got very intricate pattern. This is like a tartan plaid. And then we got some beading and So cute. So I love my sweater Christmas vest and I'm going to be wearing these all throughout December. I got three of them and yeah, I'm very excited. This is one of my favorites that I found. Again, I got it on eBay. I just found that secondhand stores like eBay and uh, all that had more of the vintage sweater vests I was looking for, kind of like 90s esque. So let's dive right in because we do have quite a lot of items. And um, I will say this is a very, this is a lot of items, and I wouldn't normally get this much every year. This is like every few years I might get this much. This is actually. Um, we haven't bought this many Christmas decor since we first moved into our place like six years ago. So it's been a long time and I felt in the mood to get a lot of decor. This isn't the case for everyone, nor is it necessary. <laughs> I just love the holidays and so me and my husband were excited to pick these things up together and it was a very festive time. As you can see here, we have a lovely little uh, truck with a Christmas tree on the back. This was from, I think we got most of our stuff from the dollar section from Target. They honestly have the cutest stuff and I try to snag as much as I can um, in that section that I like because I know it goes very so yeah, and I find those things last very well. They had a lot of cute stuff, so I got this truck because I do love Christmas tree farm-esque stuff. One of my favorite Christmas films is Holly Star. If you have never seen it, I highly recommend it. And it's about a girl who, um, if there's a plot to it, but it's basically like an indie Christmas movie, but it's very warm-hearted. It's not like a sad. Um, and it's all about her kind of like working on a Christmas farm and just like the fun adventures that she gets herself into. And I just love that movie. It's one of my favorite movies I've discovered in the past few years. And this reminded me of it, so I absolutely had to pick it up. So, I'll give you the full 360. Yeah, so this was only $3. Obviously, it will last well if I don't accidentally like break it or anything. And it's meant to be just like a little paperweight, honestly. <laughs> um, another item I found in the same section was this sleigh. These types of decor. 
decor items always remind me of just like the 90s and just like traditional Christmas uh, vin not vintage because vintage could be really a lot of decades but I hope that makes sense like the 90s just little ornamental items that um, you know you might see around your grandmother's house like that's exactly what this reminded me of and it's just so cute and adorable and I love little things like this because they remind me that I have little nooks and crannies that um, you can just have these like little objects here and there and they really end up, I don't know, adding like everywhere you look in your home there's like a little nook and cranny with like a fun, I don't know, festive element. So that is this item and I am so happy that we got it. This was also $3. Now to the left and right are some Christmas trees. Now these were in like the home decor section. Um, and these were, I don't know, they immediately caught my eye because they are again that kind of like green, red, sort of traditional Christmas theme. They also had a lot of like minimalistic stuff, like all beige things and all cream. And I just, I clearly like my bright red and green. So I, that's my jam. Um, but I do like some minimalistic stuff, which I'll share in a, in a few. But these have, uh, these fake trees have ornaments like in the tree. So it's like a part of it. Um, and then it's like got some fake snow and I couldn't decide between the small one or the large one <laughs> and so I got both. Now these are probably a little bit more pricier um, but I love them so much honestly and I just know that I'm going to be getting some great use out of them so I mean, I already have like a little scene going on here, but I am gonna have so much fun figuring out how I'm going to display all of this, but this is sort of the initial, uh, you know, few items that I wanted to share. And yeah, I'm super excited. So let's move on to the next few items. All right, next. We have some more minimalistic items. Um, I love the Nutcracker. It is one of my favorite Christmas stories. I love watching the Nutcracker Ballet almost every Christmas. Sometimes, um, like this year, I don't think we're going to go see it. Um, but I do love the Nutcracker. I used to watch the ballet all the time. When it was on TV, they would like run marathons of it from other countries. It was the best. So I could not help myself when I saw these little nutcracker figurines. I have a few other uh, decorative items already from a couple years ago. And I like to make my mantle, which is really just our TV entertainment system because we don't have a fireplace. I like to decorate that all like the Nutcracker theme. Like I have an actual Nutcracker. I have a little ballerina from like Target from years ago. And all, oh, you know, like another pink tree. So there's like elements of pink and red. And then I do like to pull in green and white. So I feel like everything sort of makes sense at the end of the day, even though some stuff is like a little bit different. For example, pastel pink. Um, I don't know, I just am really attracted to this as well. So I'm like, why not? Why not have the best of both worlds? <laughs> so first we have this um, little Nutcracker porcelain statue. This is from the dollar section as well. This was about $3. So honestly, it's no longer the dollar section. It's like the 
$3 section. But you can see it's a little nutcracker figurine. Um, or maybe like a soldier. Uh, I mean, it, yeah, it kind of looks like a little soldier. But it reminds me of the nutcracker, so. Yeah. And it's like pretty sturdy and I love it. So I'm going to just definitely use that. And then there's smaller versions as well. And this one's more in like an iridescent, glowy porcelain glaze or ceramic, whatever it's made of. So this is super cute and uh, I would love to use this as well. I don't exactly know where, but I'm going to find a place. <laughs> And then to complement sort of these colors and themes, I do have like this iridescent little Christmas tree we got. And um, it's like super cute. These are very like in at Target right now. They have a ton of stuff in this like texture and all that good stuff. This one was actually a dollar, so. And it's got a empty center so you can put like a little tea light I probably won't because I don't think I even have anything that tiny but you could also put little twinkle lights if you wanted as well so super cute and then on the other side here we have pastel pink Christmas tree these are new this year as well I mean well all of this is I do feel like they had these types last year. That's why I think I meant new, but this is so cute. I just couldn't help it. I like knew I wanted it immediately when I saw it. Um, they had different, they had smaller ones as well, versions of this. And I just knew I would be able to use it. And it's just so pretty. So if you're really into pastel pink, Target is really giving you guys the uh, good stuff. <laughs> so, so excited to use that. And then I had been wanting a snow globe since like a couple years now and I just finally decided to get one. Now, the only thing I don't like about Target snow globes is that they have the year on. I mean, that's nice, but I just don't feel like it's super important. <laughs> like, I don't know. Unless, like, you're celebrating that Christmas, maybe. I don't know. But that's, like, the only design element that I don't love. And, unfortunately, it's placed right where the scene of the snow globe is. So, I can't exactly turn it around. It would just look kind of... Well, actually, I mean, it could look cute from the back. But I like this side a lot. Maybe I'll just, like, cover it up with some snow or something, like some fake garland or... Anyway, so... This is our little snow globe. They had so many cute ones, but I had to go with this one. It's got... I know my ring light is sort of in there, but <laughs> it's got like the deer. And it reminds me of Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Um, little movie cartoon, a claymation movie. Just reminded me of that, so I just absolutely wanted it. And maybe one day I'll have a little collection of Christmas snow globes if I had more storage <laughs> to store everything. But I love it, and I've been wanting one for a while, so I'm finally glad that I was able to um, get one. But yeah, so that is my snow globe and my other little decor. some fun items. Um, this velvet Santa was something my husband uh, caught his eye and he immediately wanted it. And so I was like, absolutely put it in the cart. We're gonna get the velvet Santa. <laughs> so this is velvet Santa. Very luxurious. 
man and uh, I love it. I love it as well. And I love that my husband really was excited to buy it. But he's just like this little round Santa and uh, got his little mustache going on. So it just looks so nice and cozy and warm. And it's like a velvet. I wonder how it will keep over time. This was in the Target holiday decor section, um, not the dollar section. So um, they had a big, more bigger version of this as well, but we got the small version. I think we don't really have a lot of <sighs> counter space. I don't even know where a lot of this stuff is going to go. Although um, I don't really have a lot of decor in our bedroom, so I think some of this stuff might be in our bedroom. And then I do have a desk at that I like to decorate a little bit, so I'm gonna have some stuff for that. So, yeah, this is Velvet Santa, yet to be named. <laughs> so we'll keep him off here to the, to the side. And, uh, speaking of my desk at work, I'm going to probably, um, add this vase. This is just like one of those little vases in the, well, we found it in the dollar section, but I think sometimes they have it like in the back, like where some of the fake plants, small fake plants are in the decor, home decor sections, but um, it's like a maroon jar glass face, and then the glued in sort of fake foliage. And we have little red berries with fake snow, a little fake pine, and this like white and I thought it was great, and I like getting stuff like this because it sort of takes care of the whole thing, right? Like, I get a vase, I get my fake florals, and it's just, like, nice and easy to decorate kind of like my desk or even a corner of my house somewhere, uh, just like a nice element. I like to have vases with, like, fake florals. Yeah, I am so excited to decorate my desk at work. <laughs> it makes me feel cozier being there all day with, you know, having to go to work. Alright, and then I, to kind of match the maroon, I'm thinking of also adding this, like a maroon uh, glass Christmas tree um, as well, so it kind of ties in together. And then I'll probably use some contrasting of like the green garlands I'm gonna show soon as well as like twinkle lights and then I think a couple like cream colored or white Christmas trees just to like offset. But I think the color theme of my desk at work is gonna be maroon, green, and white. That's kind of what I'm thinking of currently. We'll see. So yeah, it's super beautiful, and this actually comes with a built-in twinkle light. Um, so I'm gonna see what that looks like when I take out the little tab. But I love having cozy lights at work, especially now that it gets dark very soon. And so it's nice to have some lighting, low lighting around. And this maroon Christmas tree we got in the dollar section. Another few items we got in the dollar section were these little candles. My husband actually wanted to get them. I have a ton of candles already that I barely burn that often, um, so I don't need to really buy more candles, honestly. So I'm good on candles. <laughs> but he wanted to get these, and I think they smell great. They're called Falling Snow. smells nice and fresh. It's definitely not like a vanilla scent, which is my go-to, but he likes a fresh scent, so I was like, yeah, let's get them. We can use them in the bathroom. We can light them um, if we have like a scrapple night. 
cozy night in. I am determined to make him watch cheesy Christmas movies with me, at least a couple. And personally, on my own time, I'm watching a ton of just like all the cheesy Christmas movies I can find like on Hulu and Netflix that I have yet to see and just like have them on in the background and like have my own personal rating sheet that I'm keeping note of. I just think it's so fun. Um, but I'm only going to subject my husband to like a couple just so that he gets into the spirit of it with me. I just love cheesy Christmas movies. Some of them are pretty painful to watch. Um, so it's, you know, they have to be like pretty interesting or I end up tuning out and they're just kind of background noise. But um, I have some favorites that I like to so yeah, we got these two candles, and that's all of these items. Before I move on to the other, like, more garlands and lights and other stuff, we got these mugs. We do love to get Christmas mugs, like, every year, one or two. It depends on the year and the, you know, variety. I actually don't have that many Christmas mugs, to my surprise. I'm glad I don't have an overwhelming collection. <laughs> We both loved these, like, gingerbread-themed cups. I actually saw one on TikTok from, like, I think it was TJ Maxx. There was, like, a really beautiful gingerbread mug. And I actually like that one way better than this one. But I also love this one, so I'm gonna keep it. <laughs> but maybe I'll go find that other mug. I don't know. This is, like, a little uh, ceramic gingerbread house. It honestly kind of looks like a child painted this. <laughs> like, legitimately. That's why I'm like, it's cute, but now that I saw the other mug, I'm like, okay, well, this one just feels like a fifth grader made it, and that's awesome, but now I kind of wish I had the other version. It's still cute. I liked it. I, when I saw it, I liked it more than any of the other mugs that they had uh, out at Target, so I don't know. Sometimes Target mugs are like a huge hit or miss for me. I don't know. <laughs> so, we got this one. I love to have hot chocolate and warm coffees during the season of the holidays and all that, so I really often go for my Christmas mugs for those drinks. And then my husband chose this mug for himself, which is a gingerbread man, and he really liked it. <laughs> really enjoying his inner child with me at Target, and honestly, I was, I was goading him on. I was like, yeah, just throw it in the cart. Let's do this. This is the Target experience. <laughs> like, yeah, I loved it. It was really fun. So, yeah, got our little mugs, and yeah, I'm excited to enjoy them this season. Alright, next up we have ornaments, and I have ornaments already, quite a few actually. Um, some of them broke, and so now I just have like odd ornaments. <laughs> you know how you do, I have unique ornaments, and then I have some that all match, but they're, some of them broke, some of them were secondhand, so... I felt it was time to get, like, a cohesive set. I almost got another one of these, but they different bulb shapes. But it was already getting to be a very full cart. So <laughs> I decided to stick with one set this year. And I will fill up any gaps with the other ornaments I have that technically have a similar color scheme. I was very into, this is the, like, I think they call it, like, silver. It looks more champagne to me in color, but it's essentially the pink and, like, gold, well, not gold, but, like, champagne silver color sets that they have, and I really loved the pink because it kind of ties in with the pink colors with the Nutcracker theme, and I still have, like, the reds and the greens, and so 
some like creams <laughs> behind. Um, it's turning into a Dr. Seuss book at this point, but I feel like these color themes tie in together, even if they're in like different parts of the same room, if that makes sense. Um, I have a vision. <laughs> and I do feel like red also goes well with these colors, so I think we'll be okay. Um, so I think uh, it won't look a little too but you know what? Sometimes the most beautiful things don't really match up perfectly, you know? So, this is the set. You have these, like, you know, intricate bulbs that you have these intricate bulbs with, like, twists and curls. These are, like, long, thin ones. Round ones. medium-sized ones up here, and then little tiny ones. Super cute. So, um, I like to get a real Christmas tree, not just because I love the smell and the freshness of pine, but we don't exactly have storage for a fake tree. Our storage unit where we live is pretty tiny. It's already kind of busting at the seams already, and adding a fake Christmas tree would be just a bit much. Um, I wouldn't mind getting a fake tree someday if I had ability to have multiple trees in different rooms, but I do love a fresh tree. I think it's lovely and very Christmassy for me. So these are our ornaments that we got. I don't know if I'm going to buy any like unique ornaments. Maybe if something catches my eye, I would really love like a nutcracker or ballerina ornament, but I've yet to find something that isn't like incredibly overpriced, you know, and also cute. <laughs> so, yeah, this is our ornament set for this year. Now, of course my husband wanted to get his own ornament, and I let him get, I let him, he's his own. I'm not opposed to it, is what I mean. I don't control what ornaments we use or don't use. I ask him about everything. I'm like, hey, is it cool if I get this? And so it was nice for him to pick something out. And he has like other ornaments, like Star Wars ornaments and other stuff like that. So I still put those on the tree. Like it's just, it makes the home what it is. So I'm not like this weird perfectionist where I need like all the ornaments to match. <laughs> It looks like it's a squishy toy, but it's actually like solid. Um, so yeah, you got Pikachu. <laughs> Gotta represent, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Here we have some lights. And I decided to pick up the same twinkle light. I like twinkle lights, they're just more manageable in our smaller home like space and bigger like the thicker lights I like to use on the tree and like outside but for just like the glow on the mantle or on my desk or just like in little like areas like our dresser I like to use twinkle lights and I needed to pick up some new ones because ones that I've bought a couple years ago you can't replace the battery these ones I believe are you can replace the battery you just can't replace the bulbs i got the e color so at target they have like a uh, display of the lights that are lit and they have each a corresponding letter and i got the letter e because it was like a copper wire and warm light and that's really what i liked and it's not like the twinkling ones where they're always on a twinkling setting i just sometimes that bothers me so I liked the option for that but I would rather just have the lights kind of like static <laughs> at all time. I know that's super weird. So I got four of the same twinkle lights and the same light 
this shade and they are 30 lights warm white LED dewdrop lights is what it looks like um, they're probably pretty tiny like in length I think I have one that's like really long and I like that one and um, I like that this has like a removable like battery operator some of them that I've bought in the past are like tabbed batteries and like you can so I like the ones like this, where I can just put in like a double A battery, triple A, whichever one it is, and call it a day. So that's what that is, and I'm excited to use my new lights. And then I got this like bell light garland thing. Um, let's see, you can like hear it. <laughs> it's the uh, warm white LED bell dewdrop lights and so this is what it looks like I love little bells and so I'm curious as to what this looks like so I'm actually going to open it up because I don't think we really opened it up in the store so try to... oh you know what I do remember we opened it up to look at it because I was concerned about how small it was going to be because sometimes Target stuff can like end up being really small bells and I'm thinking of hanging these I have like um, plants hanging in our window and I'm thinking of like kind of looping them over the plants a little bit where the hooks of the plants technically are um, so I'm thinking of there would be nice but yeah I love that every time a bell rings are all my lights that we got. I'm probably going to end up going to Home Depot to get some outdoor lights that I want. We shall see. I have to kind of assess those lights and see what we have before I go out and get anything else. But now I have my indoor lights situated, which I'm excited about. All right. <laughs> so here, I couldn't help but get some small garland. We did get a big garland. Don't huge one, but pretty sizable, like what you would put on a mantle. These are a lot thinner, which you could also do, but we got a bigger one. It's just a bit too big for me to show in this video without it being like a little all over the place. So I'm sharing the smaller ones I got, and these are like kind of like for other placements, like a bookcase or a shelf, um, or just like other areas in our home, maybe our dresser, and also like my desk at work. I like to put a garland as well. So, um, so this first one is a six foot wreath garland, so it could be a wreath or you can unravel it like a garland, which I like to do. I like this one a lot because it's just got like your general pine foliage. And some red berries and I love that I love that pop of red and it's definitely like the color scheme that is very muted and can kind of go with so much with the pop of red which I love so yeah it looks like fake maybe you also the same type, but it's a different theme, color, <laughs> and uh, you can unravel it or keep it in a circle. And it's like their fake snow with little white, I don't know what these are, like white berries or white little flowers. Um, super cute, so if you're very into like creams and greens, this would be a beautiful piece. The fake snow can kind of get, you know, shed a little it's just like a big heads up for that. I find so far this one hasn't been that bad, but 
there was some fake snow stuff at Target that shed a lot and I was like, I'm not bringing that into my home. It's just going to get everywhere. So, um, yeah, just got the thin garland here and I really like it. And I love finding like little foliage stuff like this pretty much anywhere, like Michael's, the whole stores you could go to. I, I like finding small little foliage for decorative pieces because I have a lot of like empty vases and jars anyways so it's nice to be able to like swap things out seasonally and I found this one at Target and honestly it was kind of a steal because I was having a hard time finding stuff at first and I found this one like the last of its kind in like the very back decor garland section um and it's like small a lot of them are really big which i just don't have very big faces so um all the small stuff was like really out by the time i was looking through it so when i found this i was super happy again it's got red berries and some fake pine needle footage yeah so i love this it's gonna be perfect for maybe in the bathroom or somewhere else in my house. <laughs> I find good use for things like this. Now, for some of my larger vases, which I don't really have that many, um, we saw this, like, it's like wrapped, it's honestly like wrapped lights. <laughs> it looks like pine, but it's not, if that makes sense. It literally is like tape wrapped around it's not the most glamorous looking decor piece, but um, if you can imagine, this is what it's supposed to look like. They're little branches, and I really like that visual, so I thought why not get it and put it in one of our vases in the living room, just to add a little sparkle. Um, I'm super excited. I just feel like it gives a wintry vibe, and I do feel like it can kind of easily go into January. So yeah, I love this piece. I'm hoping it is similar to, to the picture. Um, so yeah, and I just have to put some batteries in. This is one of those things that does kind of shed, but I didn't want to let it go. I liked it too much. And it's like this red berry frosted pine uh, piece of fake branch <laughs> with a little pine. I do have a bigger vase that I think this will work really well with. So I wanted to get it because I don't really have a larger piece like this. I have little smaller branches that I like to use, but I didn't have a bigger one. So that was kind of the reason behind this one. But I think I'm all branched out. You know, I think I'm good on the branches. Next, we have a bag of glitter snow. It's a glitter snow blanket. wanted some like fake snow and I was like I got you we'll go get some fake snow and it's funny because like my mom growing up had fake snow blankets and I just never thought about buying them like I just didn't think about it but I do feel like they make a difference so I picked up this one which I don't know how big it is and depending on where I use it I might cut pieces of it to fit but I'm thinking our mantle would be a great place. And we shall see. Um, I also got like, I think I got like six of these, honestly. They're like smaller faux snow roll. That's what it's called. Here. So, um, I've yet to open it up, but it's like basically like a roll of fake snow. And I think these are going to be more for like bookcases or smaller areas. Honestly, we have a lot of snow, so I just feel like I don't need more snow. Um, <laughs> probably more than enough. Maybe too much, honestly. Maybe I'll once again bring some for work. My desk is going to be like all decked out. <laughs> but that makes me happy, so I don't mind.
yeah, I like fake snow. I'm a fan of it. Um, and I think it kind of goes once again with like a lot of different color themes. So, yeah. I think my dream Christmas decor would be like those Christmas villages. I would love that. I know I would need to start collecting that like now, just have a huge collection down the road, but one thing at a time. <laughs> I don't think I have enough money to go out and buy more out villages, but if there's any recommendations on where to find little Christmas village pieces that doesn't break the bank, I am down for that uh, recommendation because I would love to get some. I think I just would also need more space in my house. I'm definitely lacking a lot of like decor space that isn't also competing with like actual practical things that we we store. So that is the fake snow. I have to be kind of careful, but this is like a little bell. Um, I don't know what you would call this. What do they call it? A hanging decor. Okay, well, that's not as, you know, eloquent as I thought it would be an official name of, but my grandmother, um, who inspires a lot of my decor, just, you know, ideas just because of what I grew up with and Christmas time spent with her and my mom. They both impacted my decor taste, I would say. Uh, my grandmother actually had this set of bells, these Christmas bells, and she taught us how to play them um, with a little, like, stick. I don't know what to call it, but it was just like little bells and she taught us how to play, you know, Joy to the World and I think that was like literally the only other song we, we could catch on to. Those bells have been uh, taken by another member of the family, which is totally fine. So I decided when I saw these, they immediately reminded me of my grandmother's bells and I was like, I have to get them because they just remind me instantly of the bells uh, that she had and so they're not the same maybe one day I'll buy a version that was like the ones she had that we grew up with um, but for now I'll have this little bell I think I'm going to place it somewhere where it's not that noisy <laughs> because I don't think I want to hear it constantly like on our front door I don't think I'm going to have it on our front door um, so I'm going to find a nice place for it but yeah I'm really happy about this piece little treasure find. So. so, next we have some clothing and blanket items. And the first thing we got here is a throw blanket. I love these, like, Sherpa ones. With, like, the Sherpa and then it's got like a cloth outer cover. And I really liked this cozy, like pl dark plaid one. They have a light one as well that I also really wanted. But I do like this one a lot as well. And I felt like it was just very cozy. And I felt it would it would go well with our beige couch that we have. So it's their uh, throw blankets in the decor section and it was $25 so it wasn't too crazy I think it's probably like a very like single person type blanket not too big um, yeah so I have another blanket that we have like this and I've had it for years and I love that blanket and it's and it's managed to stay soft all these years so I thought we would since me and my husband like to um, steal the blankets from each other all the time, so now we'll have less blankets to steal from each other. So yeah, love this one. Very cozy. Now, I couldn't get a blanket without getting Chewy, my Chihuahua, a blanket as well. <laughs> I needed to get him another blanket anyway, and I like to get him some festive themed blankets sometimes. Um, so I liked this one. That is the Wonder Shop Target brand. And it has little 
dogs on it and cats, so I thought maybe this would be the perfect blanket for him since it's got animals on it. So it's just like a little throw blanket. I know it will be really cozy for him and I don't know if it's true that dogs like the color blue, but I got the blue one because I thought maybe he would like it. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if that's true or not. But yeah, so I can't wait to give this to him. He's not really a dog that likes chew toys or toys or yeah, in general doesn't like toys. So I usually get him like blankets and like snacks because he just likes to sleep all day, which is totally my jam. So, yeah, it's super cozy. I'm sure I'll love it. All right, and of course, the Christmas pajamas from Target. You just can't go without a Christmas pajama, you know what I'm saying? And I do love the Christmas pajamas from Target. I think last year I didn't get anything because I didn't like the selection. But this year I saw this one, this like white plaid, and I was like, absolutely. I actually need to get out my other Christmas pajamas that I have. So I have those for the winter, colder weather now. Um, they are long sleeve pajamas with a long sleeve shirt and pants. And it's their star above line. just because I like that fit on me. It's not too tight or anything, which I like. I like my pajamas to be a little loose. So, these are so comfortable and not too warm. So, absolutely love these. And, um, they don't really, I didn't really see any, like, matching pajamas. I'm sure that was in another section, but me and my husband more or less coordinate with, like, palettes versus, like, exact exact matching pajamas. Um, but these are really great and they had other patterns as well. So yeah, I love these. Now this year I also needed some pajama pants slash lounging pants just because um, I'm just like really lacking in that department. Um, so I decided to get some basic star above pajama pants and these are like the really soft like jogger pajama pants. They are very like silky and I like how thin they are because I do have flannel sheets during the colder weather so it's not too, you know, like I don't need to be super dressed warm when I go to bed. Um, or even just around the house. So I love how thin these are because they just will last for a while in the climate that I'm in, which is much more mild and, and warm. And I also got a large in these as well. But they are very like loose. They're not like tight or, yeah, I just hate tight, super tight um, pajamas. So yeah, you can kind of like see how it's silky. <laughs> And then I got the exact same pair in a darker gray. I wish this was more like a black solid color, but it's more like a grainy gray, dark gray. But it's all that they had, and I was like, okay, whatever. I'll just get it. I'm only going to sleep in it. <laughs> like, there's nowhere I'm going with these. And uh, they're super soft as well, so. It's the Star Above line, and it's their jogger in the pajama section, so I'm assuming it's a jogger pajama bottom, you know? Like, it's super thin. I don't think I would, like, jog in these, <laughs> you know what I mean? Maybe if I had something underneath it, but, yeah. So, those are the last few items I got from Target. It was a very expensive trip. <laughs> like, my husband was like, whoa, and I'm like, this isn't surprising. In fact, it was lower than I thought it would be. Um, that's how, how well I, I, I know Target at this point. I hope you enjoyed this haul. It was very much fun and festive. And now I get to decorate with all the things I shared. So I'm super excited to get out all my other decor 
and storage and start decorating, getting out all my cozy Christmas clothing, my winter clothing, which I feel like I just put all of that away, so <laughs> thank you so much for watching this decor haul.